Hello there. Today we're going to be changing a O2 sensor in a 2008 RAV4. What is this? 16 valve. I think it's a 2.5. Uh, I came up with a code uh, after an O2 sensor, after catalyst. So I'm going to show you where this, the sensor is because uh, I was under the, the impression that the sensor was down over there by the, the exhaust farther by the driver's side. But it's wrong. It's over here. Um, the, the first one pre uh, catalytic converter sensor is over down here which is this one and then the second one she's going to show you there's a connection down there alright I got the flashlight on there uh, there's that connector and then show them the other one and then that's the the female connector the other way turn it the other way so that white part, that's where that's the female connector, and that black little stub on the side of it, that connects to a bracket. So you might need to want to release that first before you even try to pull it, because I had trouble doing it, and then uh, we were able to pop it up. So now she's gonna go underneath the car, and she's gonna show you guys what tool we use to uh, break the the sensor loose. So, as you can see, she's got the ratchet, it's in there. It's in the sensor, we're, she already broke it loose. So we're just trying to show you what, how we got it off. And uh, right now she's gonna release the ratchet off the specialty tool, and now I'm gonna show you the tool itself right now. You can pull the whole thing out if you want, there you go. Pull it all up, there we go. Okay, take it out this way be patient guys this is the first time she's doing this I'm getting her involved so she can work on her own vehicle okay this is the tool uh, start loosening that up now you can start turning it you know counterclockwise by hand this is the tool I got I, I had this for a while already it's a performance tool w84008 um, it's not that tight on the center, but I was able to break it loose. This is the only one I got. I do need to get more. This size is uh, this 7 8 22 millimeter. So might be smaller than that. Probably like 20 millimeter, 21. But this worked. And then this is the ratchet I got. It's got a flex head on it. Nothing Just special. Like yeah, so now what she's going to do is she's going to start backing out the sensor so you see that wire right there this one you're gonna have to turn it up. you see it right there yeah all right she's taking off she's losing out the sensor and then to install it it'll be the same thing there you go this is the culprit. Let me get rid of the new one. Alright, so this is the old one. It seems it seems dirty, so it's probably it failed internally. Let's verify the connectors before you install them. They're the same. And same one. Because the one post uh, before the catalytical converters actually has a longer extension on it. So this to her. here you go slide that back in and do it reverse righty tighty lefty loosey I keep in mind folks she's only done this this time first time she's not afraid of getting dirty so if you guys have any daughters get them involved make them learn She's my niece, by the way. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Say hi. Hi, the camera. I'm trying to make it. Okay, once it stops where you can't hand tighten it no more, that's yeah. fine. Let's put the tool back on. There we go. Slide that one over. You got it? Yeah. Had a girl. Now, 
Cool. I'm your tool caddy. It's on the right direction. Just slide it over and begin to tighten it. But before you do that, I want to take a look at it, see if it's squared in there, and then put it on. Just put the ratchet on, and then I'll just verify that everything's okay, and then snug it up. You got it? All right. Let me see real quick. So I want to show them. So there's the ratchet. Kind of a tight spot. Sorry, can't really finesse in here. There's not that much room. So there's the tool. There's her hand right there. As you can see, I'm gonna slide this over and pretty much just snug it up. All right, go ahead. Cinch it down. Pull it down towards you. Hard. Hard. You're all set. So take it off, take the ratchet off. And sock it. There you go. You got it. Keep going. Bend the ratchet. That's why it's a flex side. Because you could bend the ratchet. There you go. You're not gonna break it, trust me. And if you do it's okay, it's a craftsman. Just take it off. Yeah, that's fine. You're supposed to take it off. Okay, now you're gonna go up there and connect that harness, which is this one. Make sure that it's up there and where it needs to be. You're gonna go up there and connect it up there to that connector. So let's go back up there. Watch your head, watch your head. You gotta be patient, guys. Kids gotta learn somehow. Alright, so reach in there. You see the connector? I left it right there. It's a white one? Mm hmm. Look for it, it's like your fishing pole. I have put it right there on top of the CVI. So you see it or no? Reach in there, girl, and now you're searching for gold. Okay, now grab the other one and connect it and just slide it together. Got it? So that one's gonna go to the other connector. Just like hooking it up. Yep, pretty much it. That's it. You're gonna clip them together. Take your time, don't rush. I know it's a tight spot, so be prepared for that, guys. Kind of a tight spot. If you've never done this, I mean, I, I probably would have been done by now, but she needs to start learning how to finesse her arms in spots like this. She should be working on You did? Awesome. So now that black little stub is going to go into that little bracket on the side. You see it? Right here? No. It's right there on this side. Alright. Just got the center in. This is where it clips onto. And you guys are probably going to be tempted to just leave it hanging, but don't do it. shut there it is it's hooked up to the bracket right there and that just pretty much clips on the underside of that bracket all right so that's how you change an auto sensor my little niece did it herself on her vehicle if she can do it you can do it